fourth grade, module one, lesson 16 homework. Number one, Zachary's final project for a college course took a semester to write and had 95,234 words. Zachary wrote 35,295 words the first month and 19,240 words the second month. Round each value to the nearest 10,000 to estimate how many words Zachary wrote during the remaining part of the semester. So let's first round each to the nearest 10,000. So he wrote first month. He wrote 35,295 words. And we want to round that to the nearest 10,000. So this five is in the ten, is in the, the three is in the 10,000s place. We need to look at the five. That five is five or higher, which means we're going to round the three up to a four. So this is about 40,000. The second month, was 19,240. So if we were to round that to the 10,000s place, next to the one is a nine, that's five or higher, so we're gonna round the one up to a two. So that's about 20,000 words. And we wanna know, we wanna know, we're gonna estimate how many words Zach wrote during the remaining part of the semester. So let's draw a tape diagram just to visualize this. So in the first part, The first, he wrote about 40,000. The second, he wrote about 20,000. We need to know about how many he wrote during the remaining part. So the entire semester, let's round that. 95,234. So that is about, if we were to round that to the nearest 10,000 place, that would round up to 100,000. So the entire thing is about 100,000. So we need to know what this could be. If we have 40,000 plus 20,000, that is 60,000. So 60,000 plus what would get us 100,000? If I subtract 100,000 minus 60,000, I will get 40,000. So our final answer would be that he has to write about 40,000 more words. Now it wants us to find the exact number of words written during the remaining part of the semester. I'm gonna draw a different tape diagram with the exact words. So the first part, first month, he had 35,295. The second month, he had 19,240. And then we don't know the remaining, but we know that the entire thing was 95,234. So we can, there's multiple ways to solve this. We can either add the first and second months together and then subtract, or we can just subtract one at a time. So what I'm gonna do first is add 35,295 plus 19,240. So we have five plus zero is five, nine plus four is 13, carry the one, one plus two plus two is five, five plus nine is 14, carry the one, one plus three plus one is five. So these two together are 54,535. Now let's subtract them from the whole, which was 95,234 minus 54,535 to see what remains. Four minus five, we need to borrow. 14 minus five is nine. Two minus three, I need to borrow. 12 minus three is nine. 
1 minus 5, again, I need to borrow. 11 minus 5 is 6. 4 minus 4 is 0. And 9 minus 5 is 4. So we end up with 40,699 words. as our answer. And it says C, use your answer from A to explain why your answer in B is reasonable. So our estimate was 40,000 words. Our answer is reasonable. because 40,699 is close to 40,000. Number two, during the first quarter of the year, 351,000 people, 351,875 people downloaded an app for their smartphones. During the second quarter of the year, 101,949 fewer people downloaded the app than during the first quarter. How many downloads occurred during the first two quarters of the year? Round each number to the nearest 100,000 to estimate how many downloads occurred during the first two quarters of the year. Okay, so I'm going to draw another tape diagram to help us visualize. So during the first quarter, there were 351,875. The second quarter had 101,949 fewer than the first quarter. So it wants to know how many occurred during the first two quarters of the year. So the first one was 351,875. The second quarter was 101,949 fewer than that. So we're going to do 351,875 minus... 101,949, 101,949,949. Wants us to round each estimate to the nearest 100,000. So 351,875, the 100,000th place is right there. Next to it is a five, which means we're gonna round the three up to 400,000. And 101,949, if we round that to the nearest 100,000. Next to it is a zero, so this just stays at 100,000. And I'm going to redo my tape diagram now with my estimates. So this rounded to 400,000. This would be 400,000 minus 100,000, which is 300,000. So then we would estimate that together they had about 700,000 downloads. The first two quarters. Now it wants us to determine exactly how many downloads occurred during the first two quarters. So we've already drawn the tape diagram. I'm not going to draw it again. This time we need to find the exact amount. So let's start by finding out the second quarter and subtracting and figuring out exactly how many they had in the second quarter. So 351,875 minus 101,949. 5 minus 9, we need to borrow. Becomes 15 minus 9 is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. 8 minus 9, we need to borrow. 18 minus 9 is 9. We need to borrow again. 10 minus 1 is 9. 4 minus 0 is 4. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So the second quarter was 249,926. So now let's add the 249,926 plus the first quarter and see exactly how many downloads we get. So 351,875 plus 249,000 
926. 5 plus 6 is 11, carry the 1. 1 plus 7 is 8, plus 2 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 9 is 18, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 9 is 11, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 4 is 10, carry the 1. And 1 plus 3 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6. So we get 601,801 downloads. Determine if your answer is reasonable. Explain. So our estimate was 700,000 and our actual answer was 601,000. So while they're still kind of far apart, it's still reasonable. It's not like we got 6 million and our estimate was 700,000. So when we're talking in terms of hundred thousands, if we're just one or two hundred thousands apart, that's okay. So I would say our answer is reasonable. Because 601,801 is close to our estimate of 700,000. And number three, a local store was having a two week back to school sale. They started the sale with 36,390 notebooks. During the first week of the sale, 7,424 notebooks were sold. During the second week of the sale, 8,967 notebooks were sold. How many notebooks were left at the end of the two weeks? Is your answer reasonable? Let's start by drawing a tape diagram. So we have, they started the sale, the whole sale has 36,390 notebooks. And during the first week, first week they sold 7,424. During the second week, they sold 8,967. How many were left at the end of two weeks? So how many were left? Now let's estimate first because it's gonna want us to say if our answer is reasonable. Let's round to the nearest uh, thousand. 7,424 is about, if I round to the nearest thousand, 7,000. 8,967, if I round that to the nearest thousand, I'll get 9,000. And if I round 36,390 to the nearest thousand, I'll get, here's the thousands place, 36,000. When I add these two together, I have 16,000. And if I want to know how many is left, 16,000 plus what is equal to 36,000? This would be equal to 20,000. So our estimate is about 30, 20,000. Now let's find the actual answer. So what I'm gonna do is add 7,424 and 8,967 together. I get four plus seven is 11, carry the one. One plus two is three, plus six is nine. Four plus nine is 13, carry the one. One plus seven plus eight is 16. So we get 16,391. Now I need to figure out what's left by subtracting that from 36,390. Zero minus one, we can't do that. So 10 minus one is nine, eight minus nine, we need to borrow. 18 minus nine is nine. Two minus three, we gotta borrow again. So 12 minus three is nine. 5 minus 6, let's borrow. 15 minus 6 is 9. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we end up with 19,999 
uh, notebooks left. And 19,999 is extremely close to 20,000. In fact, we're only one off. So yes, our answer is reasonable. Because 19,999 is very close to our estimate of 20,000.